Hey everyone, Robert over at Bloomington Acura Subaru here in Minnesota. Today I'm going to give you a real quick walkthrough on this 2022 Acura MDX Type S Advanced Package. Now the reason I want to show you guys this one is this one does have some accessories like the crossbars, it's got the gloss black emblems, trailer hitch, things like those. And this one is going to be liquid carbon metallic with ebony interior. And because it is the Type S Advance, it is the full Milano leather seat. There's no suede inserts or anything like that. So let's go take a look. Alrighty, so starting at the front of the vehicle, you can see we've got our Type S badges in the front. Now this car does have a few accessories on it. So I want to show you guys some of those accessories. So we've got, it's kind of tough to see in this light, but we've got the dark chrome Type S badging. Up top here, we've got the roof rails with our crossbars, which are gonna be your Acura branded crossbars. In the back, this customer also did, there you can see the dark chrome Type S badge again over here. We've got the dark chrome Acura logo and the dark chrome MDX, as well as the SH AWD. Now, a lot of people always look and Think that the SH AWD is not a dark chrome. It's kind of the angle that it's placed at. If we come over here to this RDX that doesn't have the dark chrome badge, as you can see, they are much more, much more chrome versus the dark chrome on this MDX Type S. Now, this customer also has added the trailer hitch to the back of the vehicle. With this being an MDX Type S Advance, it does come with a kick function where you kick your foot underneath the bumper to open the tailgate. With production and supply chain issues, those are on back order. There's also a cover that would typically sit right here um, that's missing on this car in case you haven't seen that before. I'll just show you real quick what that would look like. So here you can see what that cover typically looks like. Right. Now, like I said, this color is liquid carbon metallic. You can see just how much this paint shifts with the sunlight on it. We open up the back here. So in the back, we've got, oh, that's not good. Our third row folded down right now. If you guys remember from my previous videos, if you pull this cover back, there's a little handle that you pull the handle and lift the whole seat up. With the second row, the middle seat can fold down. You can also fully remove that middle seat. Um, otherwise, they all can fold down. They can all recline as well. Another feature this customer added on the back was the light up cargo sill trays back here. So not only this would just be all this silver piece, but we do have the light up emblems with the Acura logo. On the sides, you've got your cargo tray hooks, you've got power outlet, you've also got the one touch close feature since this is an advanced package. Click. One thing if you haven't seen as well before, all four doors do have lights in the door handle, so at nighttime you can see where those lights are. Now, on the side with this being an advanced package, it does have the open pour wood trim on the doors versus that stamped aluminum piece. You've got your window shades, and then in the back, you can see we've got our one touch fold to get into the third row. So just give that a click, and that just slides up so you can get in and out of the third row. Middle seat, you have this little handle right here. And that folds down so you can take out, or fold down the center seat. And then I'll see if I can show you here. Let's see if I can make that brighter. Oh, little handle on the front here. When you pull that handle, that would unlatch the back of the middle seat, and then you can just lift it right out. We've got all of our, wow, this lighting is awful. Sorry about that, guys. 
all of our heating and cooling controls back here as well as heated seats, power outlets, all that stuff. And then going into the front seat, once again, ooh, why is it locked? Once again, we've got the wood trim. You can actually see some of that illuminated um, ambient lighting there. It's also along the bottom, down in the foot wells. There's also a light over here. Now looking at the seats here. So with the Type S Advanced, we actually have a different seat. Normally the center portion right here would all be swayed all the way down. But instead we have this really beautiful kind of quilted pattern style. You can see the red stitching. So we've got the red stitching on the seats. We've got the red stitching on the center console lid. We've got it along the dashboard as well as on the doors down here. Now if we go and pop inside for a second. So over here on the left side, we've got all of our volume up and down, voice commands, heated steering wheel button right here. If I click apps or scroll up and down, that allows us to adjust our heads up display, which I just saw, oh, oops, you guys can kind of see it right there. So you can open up the heads up display, there's a paper in the way. So we can see there's a menu that we can scroll up and down. You can select our driving view. So if you want to change what exactly you want to see, you can select everything. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have all of your buttons for your cruise control, setting your adaptive cruise, your lane assist. And I can turn those on and off right here. So you guys can see all that going in there. And the center display, Acura's true touchpad interface. So this screen up here is not a touch screen. It's controlled down by the touchpad here. So you've got the left half for the left side of the screen and then the right side for the right half of the screen. It is a pretty simple system. It just takes a couple days to get used to it, just like with everything else. Down here, you've got heating and cooling controls. So you've got driver's side temperature, passenger temperature. There's a little screen that appears here so you can see everything you're adjusting. So. So you guys can see that. You've got Acura's standard push button gear selector, which I like that reverse, you have to click it backwards instead of pushing it in. That way you actually know what exactly you're clicking. Wireless charger for your phones, good size center console storage with a 12 volt outlet, as well as another USB port, which if you're not using wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, that would actually be the USB port that we would plug into. And then up top, don't know if we'll, we've got the full panoramic moonroof with one touch. So you can open and close it with ease, or you can set it to exactly where you want it to go. And then the sunroof, just this first portion opens. Sunglasses, all of your Acura Link assist buttons, but here's everything here. You've got your cabin light buttons right here. So a door, on, off, all the stuff there. Now for the Acuras, one thing I should show you guys is, if it will show me here, this little square right here, this is where your blind spot detection is. A lot of vehicles will show it out in the corner of the reflective part of the mirror. Acura doesn't do that because it's a little more difficult to see. So it's right here on the inside of the car for driver and passenger side. And then down below, we have all of our buttons to adjust the heads-up display, safety features, uh, traction control, parking sensors, brightness, illumination. Here you've got your four-way adjustable for the steering wheel, which will save with one of your three memory seat positions. So three, two, one, all right there. Powerful mirror switch right there, as well as your mirror adjustments. And then the Type S Advance does have the massaging seats. So along with your heated and cooled seats, you also have your massage function, which if we push and hold, will open up the massage menu so then we can select exactly what kind of mm -hmm. massage we like. And with the massage, you also have the 12-way power seats. 
So we can, or sorry, 16 way, excuse me. So we can adjust the lumbar four way. We can adjust the length of the seat, which is a two way, as well as the bolsters of the seat, which is a two way as well, which the bolsters are probably my favorite feature um, just because they make a huge difference. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna end today's video on this MDX Type S Advance in liquid carbon metallic with the ebony interior. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe down below as it does help me out and I'll see you in the next one.